I always think I should start writing a book. Yeah, Confessions of a Local Government Town Planner, I think, would be the, the title. Thinking back to when I was a first, I was a senior planner, and my supervisor there was amazing. She had an amazing amount of empathy and really encouraged me and encouraged me to ask questions and challenge me and also encouraged me to educate myself. So um, she was one of the persons um, that was really supportive in me going back to uni again and, and doing further study. So I think definitely um, my, probably earlier on in my career and for me I probably hope that I have a lot of their attributes that they taught me then um, in the way that I deal with my job now. I ended up doing architecture at QUT and I'd been wanting to be an architect since I was three years old and mum still has all these houses that I used to draw when I was three because a lot of my family were in um, like building trades and things like that. But I think once I finished uni, because I was working in it, it wasn't really what I thought it was. I think my whole life I'd either wanted to be a ski instructor or, or an architect. Um, so at that time I had a good chat with my boss because he was really honest like that and, and I know I could be upfront with him and he sort of said this is what I'm thinking, I don't really know if I like it as much as I thought. Um, so we spoke about landscape architecture or planning and I actually hadn't really heard of planning um, much at that stage. So anyway, after a bit of a debate, uh, debate with him, I went into planning. My original vision, I, I, what I liked about planning was I thought you could really have um, a lot of chances to help people and, and play quite an important role. I think we shouldn't underestimate the importance of planning in, in cities um, and planners as well. So it was that I didn't really have, I didn't sit down and say I wanted to do this, this and this. Um, for me it was really just taking a step back, listening, learning and I think I was really lucky with getting opportunities. So I've always taken the opportunities and that's one thing that I always say to my team is get an opportunity, take it, even if it means going outside or you know, wherever I'm working and then coming back in. I think for me, it's really work-life balance, to be honest. That's a, a personal thing for me. I um, probably wasn't, probably, I was not good at that. Definitely for probably the first 10 years of my career, absolutely worked myself to the end. Um, and definitely I don't think you're able to perform your job as good as you can when you're not obviously as fit or as, as healthy as you would be. And I think if you're working ridiculous hours each day, you're not coming to work the next morning fresh. Um, so I think that's something that I probably would have told my you know, 18, 19 year old self. And one thing I always say to our teams is don't take things to heart, I don't think take things personally um, because I think if we did that as planners particularly too you'd be in the corner every day huddled up crying so um, it's one thing I think um, you know I've been able to do because I've had those good mentors early on that really did um, drill that into me but it's something that I hope that particularly when we have younger planners coming into our team um, what we're getting that message to them that you know do your best job come to work but it's don't take it personally. So with the team that I work with, um, you know, I've got quite a big team, so you want to make sure that um, everyone's coming to work and they're, they're happy and they're healthy and going back to that work-life balance that we spoke about before, that their attitudes are right, so they're working in teams, um, that they motivate each other and they support each other. So for me, if I walk around and I see that happening, um, that makes me really proud and then to me that I know that I'm doing the job that um, I hope I am. External to your interior team is when you drive around the city obviously you know you want to see people enjoying the city. Um, just last week I was taking my dog for a walk and there were so many people out it was about 6 30 at night so it's summer so it's a bit lighter and the, uh, the, um, beat, the path along the beach was absolutely packed so that made me smile. I thought how good that people can get outside and, and enjoy that open space.